Hi. So I had a nice little modest outing with Richard uh, this Saturday. Went to the Kilo the Kid fight. Unfortunately, we had a bit of a family emergency and I couldn't stay for the main event. Um, but I got up to the co-main event, I believe, and then I had to go, but I got some good footage, um, you know, so I'll show you guys what, what's that, what that's all about, um, but I'm definitely gonna make a thing of going to these local fights, not a big fan of Mexican fighters because of the style, but these guys really got me tuned in, and, um, I look forward to going to more Tuscano promotion, uh, fights in the future. I plan on getting press credentials too next fight, so I uh, look forward to that. But yeah, enjoy the video. Hi. <laughs> so, I just got back from Sacramento, back in Stockton, and uh, unfortunately my microphone wasn't on when I was recording those videos, so I'm going to do a voiceover. Um, for, you know, the little restaurant experience I had. I'll tell you guys what I was eating and stuff. But, um, yeah. I'm looking forward to this fight. Got about, I'd say, probably three more hours until the fight. So, yep. Oh, a bunch of Mexicans are fighting. Not a fan of the style, but you know, um, it's a fight. Um, I've been saying that I want to go to fights, so I'm going to fights. You know, it's local. Um, hopefully next year, I'm thinking 2023 and 2024 are gonna be going to uh, boxing events that are, you know, bigger bigger names and stuff in Vegas and uh, in LA and New York and stuff. I've never been to New York. I'm kind of nervous to go to New York. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is, you know. Yeah, but I'll keep you guys posted throughout the evening. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so I went to this Ethiopian restaurant called Queen of Sheba in Sacramento. I go there all the time, so does my mom. But uh, basically to get straight into it, this right here is honey wine. I forgot what it's called in their language, but it's really good. It could probably get you a little tipsy. I think it's it tastes really strong. Girl, the alcohol in there is strong. It's very sweet. And, um, yeah, I love it. I always get at least one glass when I go. <laughs> and this right here, we have lamb tibs. In the middle, we have beef tibs. And then we have, um, awazi beef tibs. I should say the lamb tibs are awazi as well. And then the yellow stuff I'm pointing to right there was potatoes and cabbage. I mean, carrots. And then the other yellow stuff was cabbage. And then the bread right here is called injera. Okay? Um, forgive me, this is my first time doing a voiceover. But yeah, this is basically how you eat the food. You take it, you take a piece of bread, and then you get, you know, different layers uh, of food and stuff to make a good bite. I don't know. I grew up eating with my hands like this, so it's, like, really fun for me. But, um, yeah, it can get kind of messy. So, um, yeah, but the honey wine is really good, girl. Uh, yeah, here's like a kind of how I, I like to get my bites. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get on into the fights. Hold on, let me mute this. Um, we're getting right into the fights. Um, I don't know any of these people okay i don't i can't sit here and tell you like i didn't care enough to um yeah, note down who was fighting and stuff like that i just came to watch some fights girl the cheap the tickets were cheap 
you know the tickets were like 75 bucks for the VIP section and it was in my hometown not hometown but it was in the town I live in Stockton so that's why I came to this um, but the fights are really good the styles are really good um, there was like this guy named Cardi Cardinas that was really good um, uh, shoot I'm gonna start paying attention to them now you know uh, if I see their names on a card I'll definitely recognize them but oh that was a nice knockdown wasn't it <laughs> that was Kenny Lopez everybody was there was there for Kenny this was the first fight of the night actually everybody was here for him um, I met a cool Assyrian guy I, he's probably watching this he followed me he followed my boxing page but yeah I met these two Assyrian brothers and they were so fun they were so lit their energy was so like up there and um, they were basically telling me a little bit about you know their people and stuff but um, yeah he was there to support Kenny Lopez and there was so many people screaming girl like it was so loud for this guy Kenny um, I guess he's the real deal you know he got a good knockdown but we're in we're almost through with the card we're just going for a walk because we're getting kind of bored um, <laughs> like that's just the honest truth we're getting a little bit bored um, not many knockouts or anything like that you know which is okay but um yeah we're just walking up the street you know what's cool is that this auto this auditorium is right next to city hall so that's fucking awesome you know but yeah um fights are pretty cool it's just you gotta walk around a bit to keep yourself awake uh, in between them. Hella people were hella loud. It was so ridiculously loud. People were screaming. There was this girl that I wanted to kind of like talk to, but <laughs> she was there with a bunch of people and she seemed so bubbly and she wasn't like a baddie. Look wise, she was probably like a six or a seven, but her personality seemed like she was a freak. And I wanted to kind of see what she was about, but I didn't because I'm a wimp and I'm shy. And that's just how I am. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so that was just a little update that I gave you guys. But um, after this fight, I believe uh, that was when I had to leave. Um, Kilo the Kid ended up getting a decision win over his opponent, which is pretty cool. Um, it's always cool to have him fight Stockton. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little mini vlog. I guess there's gonna be a lot more, um, with a lot more content. There'll probably be longer the more fights I go to, especially if I get press credentials and start interviewing these guys. Um, I want to make whole vlogs out of it, just to like you know create an experience for everybody. But um, nonetheless, it was a great night, and I um, hope you guys had a great Saturday. I know I did. <laughs> But yeah, uh, until then, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye. Problem man, watch we turn nothing to sun. He hard in the paint till it's 40, start dunking. Just get that shit up for this 40, start dumping. Your paycheck allowance or mortgage or something. Or pay us and pussy your daughter or something. Black out with the stick like I dipped it in water or something. My bad little bitch from the border, she fucking and set niggas up when I want her. I might just get rich hitting licks over summer. He beef over bitches and still I don't want her. He died over pussy, you sucker. Huh? How we gonna explain that shit to your mother? If I don't love her, I can't fuck that bitch with no rubber. Hold up, I'm welling. Nigga felt iffy and showing up, he talent. Fuck security. We show our fellas. Dead when you niggas are reach for my necklace. Huh? Swear to God.